Um, Rivian, of course, has set up shop in Normal, Illinois, a small town in southern Illinois. And uh, they uh, purchased a, a factory, that uh, a brownfield that was there with a factory on it. They've repurposed it uh, to be uh, their headquarters, their main manufacturing um, building. And they had a deal with the county, the, uh, the town of Normal, Illinois, that they would spend X amount of capital by 2022. And if they were able to do that, uh, the county, the town, uh, would contribute a thousand, or I'm sorry, a one million dollar grant uh, to to them uh, for their efforts. And uh, they actually achieved that goal earlier this year. So two years ahead of schedule, uh, they were able to achieve the goal that they've spent, they've invested in that plant, in that property, uh, in that manufacturing. And um, it was announced today uh, by their president that they felt uh, that the $1 million grant that was to be given to them by the contract, uh, they don't want to accept it. They want the town to spend that money on services for the community uh, as opposed to them taking the $1 million grant. Uh, so a fantastic move by them, a great PR too. Uh, so uh, definitely uh, our hats off to them. Uh, during this crisis, monies, as we know, uh, are being bled out the door on many things uh, as we try to battle uh, this health crisis. And uh, I'm sure a million dollars in uh, in extra uh, spending power for the for the uh, town for the county uh, would be much appreciated. So, uh, uh, hats off to Rivian for this uh, announcement. It's it's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Considering how many very very well off companies with fat bank accounts were caught with their hands in the piggy mm -hmm. jar for small business um, loans meant to keep small businesses afloat through this time, this is welcome news. I know there's some there's going to be somebody. Well, it's just a million dollars. Yeah, but you know what? It's going to go to people for whom even probably a hundred to a hundred thousand dollars is just what they need to make it over this hump. And I think we should always praise good behavior wherever we can find it. So fantastic. Yeah, yeah. dude, I can tell you that when um, when Mitsubishi shuttered the IME factory in the Bloomington Normal, um, the entire area it just there was um, it it was um, what it shook. The entire area, the amount of people that it employed, and when um, when Rivian said we're looking for a factory, um, yeah, they, I mean they they petitioned them hard to get Rivian to come in, even you know including the you know the million dollar promise, and they were like, hey, if you put in twenty million, we'll give you one, because it was really all they could spare, and there were a lot of skeptics about Rivian, but you know as we know, Rivian's taking orders from from Ford and Lincoln and. Amazon and, and, and other people have you know, billions in investments in Rivian, and so it's yeah it, it's it's great that they can they can give back because I'll tell you you know just being here in the Chicagoland area I mean I, I'm I'm relatively familiar um, with the iMeve factory and, um, and a friend Joe Mikalucky who lives in Bloomington um, the the the, the community loved the iMeve and they loved the Mitsubishi factory. And when Rivian came in and pretty much hired almost all the people back and repurposed the factory, um, they already had the community behind them. And this is just one more thing of in, entrenching themselves in the community and just winning over the, the hearts of the Bloomington Normal area. I mean, this is just, it's a really good, feel-good story. <laughs>